When people think about cooking, they think about slaving over. But you know what I think about? What? I think about love, compassion, and family. We can't seem to get alone in this country, but we don't mind some good food. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's from Asia, Africa, Europe, or right here in the South. We can't live without it. <laughs> and that's why I love cooking, especially baking. Because it's when you get to eat what makes you happy, and not just what keeps you alive. <laughs> My sweet Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. You keep baking, baby. Keep baking. Don't tell your father. Go ahead and add a little bit more sugar. <laughs> Told me to drop this off to her. She left it in my car. What time is it? 12 p.m. Shit. Damn. Oh, thank you so much. I needed this. You're welcome. You know, I tried calling you several times last night and I didn't get a response. I could have dropped it off then. Sorry, I was just so busy. Yeah, I see that you had a party last night and I wasn't invited. <sighs> hey, sis. Yes? Do you have a shirt here I can borrow? Do you have a shirt you can borrow? Why would I? Aren't you always talking about how a businessman should keep a suit? Kind of like a woman keeps a pair of heels in her trunk? I'll run to the car. I'm gonna need my shirt back. Who is this guy? Ugh, don't ask, okay? You got a shirt? Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. <laughs> you always rush. Shut up. <laughs> Can you grab the cake topper for me, please? Mm. This is nice. Yes, it is. Yeah, you gotta make me one for my wedding. Yeah, okay. As if you'll have a potential bride any time soon. Hey, look, don't worry, man. They just friends. Mmm. <sighs> nice taste. Look, I gotta get to work. Hey, Rick. I'm gonna see you later, bro. Sis, love you. Bye. Bye, Carp. Oh, and good luck today. It's a big day. I'm about to head out, too. I got a session in an hour. All right. It's good meeting you, dog. Looks good. I need to talk. I just can't now because I have to get this cake to a wedding in 20 minutes. Okay, well, let me take you. No, I can't. Because I have to go to a meeting right after and then I have to take my grandmother to the doctor. But we'll talk tonight, definitely. Well, we need to go. This is for you. <laughs> Yet another client. Wow, I mean, you 
You're doing pretty well for somebody who's just cooking out of their kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. I was just telling Rick about how much of an asset you are. Nice. Uh, speaking of assets, I actually wanted to talk to you, you know, about... Speaking of Rick, I was curious to know, is he your personal trainer as well? Um, I mean, <laughs> for somebody who tastes cakes all day, I mean, you look great. You look fit. Uh, thank you. But no, it's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Right, oh, Rick, you've go. done it again. Oh. You work the hell out of my body. I should be paying you more. <laughs> That's fine, Miss Jones. Unless you think I'm worth it. You know, Rick, I'll be a bit more comfortable if we get private lessons elsewhere. Mm. For the sake of my lessons being private, you know? What would you suggest? My place. <laughs> my husband is hardly ever home, so we won't be distracted from a great workout that is. I ask because he's my personal trainer now. And I wanted to know how many women, if any, he's training. I, um, I don't know why that would be <laughs> either one of our concern. For reference, of course. Ah, I see. Well, uh, no, I don't know. But um, what I came to speak to you about is, Rick, oddly enough, t told me that you helped him find investors to open up his gym. Mm -hmm. I want to open up a bakery, mainly because I just want to get out of my home kitchen, you know? I, w I want something more. But I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you do have good credit, but it's not enough. You handle all of your transactions in cash, and you're about $10,000 short. Well, $8,000 if you consider the deposit. <laughs> but keep in mind, I mean, you don't even want to use all of your liquid cash to start a business. You need investors. And with that, a business plan and a pro forma budget projected for the next five years, a list of references, clientele, a list of business partners, if any. I mean, but don't fret. I have a few investors in mind that are in your line of business. And matter of fact, they're in town this week. I can have something set up for you as soon as tomorrow. That would be great. <laughs> but um, I don't have a business plan, so I need time to put that together. OK, can you have it written in two days? They travel soon. I'll get it done. Betty Crocker, what's cooking? You see what I did there, right? <laughs> did you fuck Carla? You know, the financial advisor you referred me to, the one you said was highly professional? What'd she say? She told me that you're her personal trainer now. And then she asked me how many other women you're training. You know that means fucking, right? What? <laughs> Hell it's no, not she's... funny, Rick. All right. Look, I smashed once. I gave her a free session. She introduced me to one of the investors who helped me open my second gym. So she needs to be fucked in order to do her job. So just chill. If anything, I'll help you, you know, if you need me. Hey, Uncle Junior. Hey, what's good, baby girl? Nothing much, nothing much. Don't look like nothing. You got that same face your mama used to have when she was pissed. And what face is that? Hell, I don't know. You just look like that, I guess. Well, let me get in this house before your mama rip me a new one. Hey, that little punk head ass boy you was on the phone with, just say the word now. You disappeared with the quick. He's good, Uncle Jr. OK? All right. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Always. I know, I know, I'm always late. But we can still make it if we just, you, you by know. the hour late at that. I done gone and come back. Just had a little blood work need to be done, that's all. How? Who took you? You ain't the only one with a working car. Travis took me. Well, we wouldn't be having this problem if you would stop letting Uncle Junior fix your car. <sighs> I owe you. <laughs> oh, you good, sis. You know, you always doing the most, so you know I got you. Oh. The verdict came in today. Wow. 
Wow. Oh. Okay. And. Oh, that don't look good. Not guilty. <laughs> oh, Congratulations. Yes, yes. So you just got your first drug dealer client off. How does it feel? Johnny Cochran, who? Hey, alleged drug dealer, all who right? Who is love saying that shit? Hey, watch your mouth. Yes, me. <laughs> so are we celebrating tonight or what? Look, I did enough celebrating last night. Uh, I'll spend this evening with Amanda. OK, well. I'm sure an evening with Cruella would be fun. But... Wait, what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Amanda, I'm sure you're gonna have so much fun, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, bye. Oh, fathead girl. That's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. I'm glad everything went well at the doctor's office. Yeah, baby, just a little blood work. I'm That's just all. told her she getting old. Oh, shut up, you fool. <laughs> What is this? Why are you here? Why you keep coming around all of a sudden? You can't keep walking in and out of our lives as you please. Hold on, wait a minute now. Chill out, young blood. He's still your father. Is he living here now? I know you're still mad at me and have every right to be, but I'm gonna try to fix it. You knew he was coming? I told him to come. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Always meddling. You know what? I'm out. Don't forget your suit, baby. Travis! Travis! Now you see what you done gone and did? Why you can't stay out of folk business? Look, girl. Come on, man. You can't let a freshman beat you before the season starts. A little too much chill in the summer. Uh, okay. But I'll be ready, though. So how you like in the neighborhood so far? Uh, well, it's different from living in the hood, that's for sure. But I guess this is what a full ride looks like, though, huh? Man, they treat their players like royalty. Hmm. Best rides and cribs. True. Especially when they have the potential to make in league like you. Yeah, you know, you know. People aren't so bad either. A few rich snobs, but other than that, it's cool. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you a rich snob? <laughs> So how's that ordeal going with Tilly University? Is that all squared away? Yeah, you know, for the most part. What was the deal with that anyway? I know they were expecting you to sign with them. Yeah, but I just wasn't feeling their vibes, bro. I don't want to get mixed up in any crazy shit, so. Yeah, man, they got some gangsters over there. Dude. We're rivals and the games get kind of crazy. I hear they pay recruits a boatload of cash on the load to come play for them. See, that's the thing. If they admitted some shit like that, they'd be fucked. So you didn't take any money? Well, no, but, you know, I thought about it, so. Shit. What's up? Let's wrap this up, man. We got trouble. Oh, why? Is he a student? He used to play for Tele University, but he got expelled. Come on, man. I've seen cats way tougher than this dude. We'll be fine. Relax. You say Check so. up. You say so. What's up, Check? Marvin Knox in the flesh. How about a little one on one, huh? All right, for sure. Ooh. Oh, careful. Watch it. Watch yourself. You can't can't make it any. <sighs> hey, baby, you've been sitting out here a while now. We have reservations at 8 p.m. Okay? No CP time. Chop, chop. I know I've been gone a long time. It's been 10 years, Dad. And I know you made phone calls and sent birthday cards and even letters. But that wasn't going to cut it. And yet you've forgiven me to look me in the face and tell me that. Your brother, on the other hand, is not so forgiving. I didn't say I forgave you. I'm just, I'm curious to know why you left the way you did. Honestly, it was just all so confusing to me back then. And I was so, so stuck on losing mom. I just, 
I didn't have the energy to put into worrying about why you left. I was a mama's girl anyway. <sighs> but Travis, he was 16 at the time. And he felt like he needed a father more than ever. And you weren't here. I know. I have a lot of making up to do. But see, that's the thing. You, you can't make up for lost time. You can't make up for the fact that you missed my prom. And for the fact that you missed Travis's law school graduation. But I mean, you're here now, right? But I, I won't even sit here and pretend like, like I don't want you here, like I'm not glad you're here. Because I am. I'm gonna keep trying. He can be as mad at me as long as he wants. To. I'll never stop trying. I'm here, I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. Baby cakes? Oh, one second. Um, something just came up. I, I gotta get out of here. I'll call you later. That's okay with you. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, um, don't call Travis. He needs to welcome you in for this to work, so he doesn't like when people are pushy. Okay, thanks. No, babe, hold on, I have something for you. Congratulations, I think you should wear this. Brooks Brothers? Babe, how much did you spend on this? Don't worry about it, I spent what my man deserves. Well, I actually wanted to wear the suit my grandmother gave me for today's win. I know she spent a lot for it. Maybe you could just save that for a family occasion. Tonight, we really need you to look impressive. Although this dinner is, of course, celebratory, it is also an unofficial business meeting. My father and some of his partners are gonna be there. We just really need you to look the part. Have I ever steered you wrong? No. Okay, then trust me. You are too wild for me. I'm serious. I'm, I'm done. That was crazy. I mean, but listen, he's rich, he's successful, and he buys me $500 purses. I mean, it's like there was just this fat-ass check just waiting for me to cash it. You feel me? Is that really something I should be feeling? <sighs> but seriously, though, what are you going to do? I don't want you to take offense to any of this, but you've been sleeping on my couch for over a year. You know, I mean, do you have any career goals? Or is some rich man just gonna sweep you off your feet and carry you into the real world? Look, I'm just waiting for you to quit that bullshit restaurant job oh. and get this bakery off the ground, oh. and then I can just come work for you. Good plan. <laughs> But uh, baby steps, okay? You know, I just got them to move me from full time to like, I guess, on call. You know, I mean, that'll give me enough time to build my own clientele and figure shit out. But um, what about you? What happened to you wanting to be an actress? Wasn't that like a thing? 
yeah, and then I became more realistic. <laughs> I mean, I still think about doing it sometimes. But if it involves me doing a 95, I can't. Oh, I feel you. <clears throat> Let's face it, I mean, I did quit stripping for you, so you're kind of responsible for me. Uh, no, you quit stripping because, let's see, um, you've been drugged, kidnapped, and almost killed. So I kind of saved your life. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. Uh, but seriously, though, I think you should try it. I mean, you're a spicy Latina, you're gorgeous, you live in Miami, come on. I mean, you'd get gigs like crazy. And you're animated as hell, <laughs> as extra as can be. So, you should go for it. Yeah, maybe I will. I'm tired, what the fuck? Girl, that ain't for me. Oh God, Jackson. I forgot about this boy again. Just act like you were not here. Ronnie, I know you're there. I see your car outside. <laughs> see what I'm dealing with? It's crazy. Oh, my life, my life. <sighs> hey, look, you're I'm not know. ready. Listen, I totally you said you were free to talk over dinner and that you'd be ready by seven. Give me a minute. <sighs> yes, you're right. But, I mean, it, it's 7.30. Technically, you're late. Cut the crap, Ronnie. You're busy. I get it. But it seems like even when you do have the time, I'm still the last one that you think of. I mean, you only want me when it's convenient for you. I'm done. <laughs> you know, you're probably the smartest woman that I've ever met. I mean, you have the potential to have it all. A good man and a successful business. I think that you're forgetting <laughs> that I'm the one who encouraged you to take cooking more seriously. Remember those late nights? Me helping you build your website? The advice that I gave you to actually open up your own bakery instead of cooking for someone else's kitchen? That was me. But you don't see that. You can't see past what you want right now. I mean, yeah, you want to call it commitment phobia, whatever the hell excuse you want to make. But I know that you can't even realize that someone is willing to love you that I was willing to love you. But not anymore. I'm done. Please, don't go. Come back. Maybe we can work this out. Just... So? I'm going to bed. Okay. I gotta reconsider being on call. This fucking stupid. Oh no, please don't go. Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and have a seat. I made you breakfast. <laughs> That's how your boy do things. <laughs> Going to have a tea. Oh, you know me so well. Good morning, sleeping beauty. Good morning. Oh, cereal, how cute. <laughs> Yo, Papi, where's my bowl? your friend. Gracias. I told you about extra tenants. <laughs> no me 
digas que él pasó la noche aquí. ¿Por qué? ¿Está celosa? <ríe> no empieces a jugar ese juego, Ronnie. ¿Qué juego? No sé de qué estás hablando. Uh -huh. What? We tried to teach you a long time ago. And? It's still rude, right? It's still rude. Aw, Rick. We're not talking about you, Ricky Poo. It's my cue to leave. I was gonna make him <laughs> breakfast. Who hurt you? Mm-hmm. I'll call you later. Thanks for the cereal. <laughs> I think you're the one. And you say I'm crazy. Look, he chose Frosted Flakes over a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He knows you. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Travis, hey. how's it going? Ah, it's going pretty good. What you got? I wanted to let you know that we might be picking up the Carl Mitchell case. And if so, I want you on it. <laughs> right now, Carl is uh, looking at second degree murder. But his family is paying enough for the entire fucking firm to go pro bono for a year. Is that right? Just to get him off. <laughs> I want you to read this. Get familiar with it. This could be your big shot. All right. Will do. Thanks. Fuck. Travis! How can I help you, Ronnie? <sighs> I know you're busy being a lawyer and shit. But... I wanted to know if you're coming to Sunday dinner. Yes, Ronnie. And are you calling me to tell me that dad's gonna be there? Or do you like keeping secrets? Oh, dad is co Damn it. You beat me to the punch. Sorry. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Oh, shut up. Just bring cupcakes and I'll forgive you. And cake pops. <laughs> hey, sis. Have you been hearing about this Marvin Knox case? Yeah, I've heard about it. It's getting pretty serious, and Black Lives Matter ain't letting up on this one. But on a positive note, this is your first civil rights case. You should be excited. Yeah, looks that way. But I'm not sure if I'm on the right side of the courtroom. Well, as long as you remember why you started, you'll always end up in the right place. Okay? Love you, sis. I love you, too. Veronica! Girl, so I thought about what you told me, you know, about what I should do and stuff, and you're right. I have always wanted to be an actress. I know. <laughs> Remember those weird ass plays you used to be in? <laughs> that was one. What were you? Like a tree or something like that? What was that called? Trees. <laughs> okay, so aside from that being the most embarrassing thing a ninth grader could do to herself, you supported me. Every single minute of that play, you were there. I mean, while everybody else was leaving, you never lifted a foot towards the exit of that theater. What do you want? Nothing. Shit. Just that you supported me then, and I'm going to need your support now. Oh, OK. So you mean in addition to food, water, shelter, personal hygienics, and I even let you dip your dirty fingers in my cake bowl? <laughs> yes, OK. You're correct. But I'm just gonna need your support now more than ever. What do you want me to do? Just help me put together a demo reel. But you don't have anything to put. Just in your record demo. me doing a bunch of improv skits and monologues. See? Please. Okay, okay, okay. But I can only give you a few hours of my time. I have to finish cooking, I have to do my business That's plan. That's all I need, Bonnie. Okay. Yes. I love you. Mm -hmm. Sir, I apologize. Uh, 
I wasn't able to resolve the alarm. I'm gonna have to take you to my private screening room. Follow me. Is everything okay? He didn't make it. Bro, you show. <sighs> Boy, you got about to 436. Before I come cap your ass. Nick. Whoa. <laughs> We're not gonna do that, okay? Yeah, <laughs> Welcome back to Betty Cocker's show. <laughs> Something is wrong with you, Clark, okay? <laughs> How did you guys feel about the game? No, maybe just uh, wristbands and things like that on my arms. I always have those. Uh... This is Carmen Santiago outside of the Miami, Florida arena. Higher, higher. Who the fuck are you to tell me how to love? No one taught me how to love. Mama taught me how to cry, and Daddy taught me how to fight. But that was when he blackened Mama's eye and she was fiending for his crack pipe. You think you got this all figured out, and that I'm just living in doubt. But I'm lost without cause, because all you worried about is when I take my panties off. So who the fuck are you to tell me how to love? so I can get obsessed and depressed like I'm shooting drugs? Keep the love. I want the sanity. I want the vanity, cause I want something to be proud of. Wow, Carmen. Did you write that? Yeah. I liked it. Thanks. Oh, don't cry. Come here, give me a hug. Ooh. You know I got you, right? It's all good. I'm good. Okay. No more crybaby shit. I can't help it that my childhood was all fucked up. True. But adulthood's still lit, though. Oh, <laughs> let you tell it. <laughs> hey, boo. Have fun. <laughs> What you want, woman? Uh, call Ronnie for me and put her on that speaker. <sighs> Don't you be calling her stressing her out either. She loves me, stressed or not. <sighs> hey, mama. Hey, haven't heard from you in a minute. You trying to dismiss me? I spoke to you earlier today. You millennials take everything so literal. <laughs> Guess what Joyce from down there on the corner told me today? What did she tell you? She told me she went to Jesse's wedding. That's nice. Mm -hmm. She said the bride looked beautiful, honey. Had the nerve to wear a white dress, though. <laughs> no respect for tradition. Then she said Jesse walked out of the wedding at the altar and all. What? Veronica, are you listening to me? Jesse walked off from the wedding because of that darn cake. First off, the cake is for the reception. They didn't even make it that well, far. Well, then maybe he had a lick of the ice. Yo icing. Before he said I do. <laughs> Bye, Ma. That's enough. <laughs> um, don't forget the cupcakes for Sunday. Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie. Hey, Papa Joe. Are you all right, baby? Yeah, I'm trying to be. Don't lose focus now, okay? Now, you know your grandmama love to bring you distractions, but feel free to tune them out, okay? Always, Papa Joe. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Now, why would you go and tell that girl that? You're always meddling. Now, that girl all right. She can handle that. That's my right. Now, but you need to mind your own business sometimes. You always gossip. Go ahead on, old man. You, you want these greens, you better leave me alone. Guess what? You'll never guess. I got two tickets 
to the new Batman, Dark Knight. We're going tonight, 8 p.m. Who's the man? I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, don't even worry about it. I know what you're thinking, right? Like last time we had to take the bus and we ended up going late and we had to sit by a guy who kept passing gas and you thought it was me. That wasn't really me. But don't worry about that. My mom, she's gonna be dropping us off, so we're good, you know what I'm saying? I wanna break up, Jesse. Wait, 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 break up, what do you mean? Wait, is this about that time when I told you I love you? I, I didn't say it for you to say it back. It's just this you don't have I to. Wait, you want love? You don't want love? Ronnie, you don't have to be afraid of love. Bye, Jesse. Ronnie, look, I'm not your dad. And I'm sorry about your mom, but you can't keep. <sighs> Figure this out later. Hi, uh, I'm here for the auditions. Auditions are closed. Oh, come on. I'm sure you have time for one more. We do, but we don't have time for people that are late. Yeah, she's right. If we pick you, you're bound to be late every day. I'm sure y'all were late as hell this morning, too. No. <laughs> See that? That's what I'm here to do, entertain y'all. I'm supposed to be blunt and honest and make y'all love it. <laughs> Look, I'm no public speaker or anything like that, but I do love to talk, and I love people who listen. So... Give me a shot. It's on you. Damn, Cindy. I'll buy you lunch my first day. Come in next Tuesday. Seriously? The station manager will be hosting the second round of auditions, so be on time. <laughs> We've already nailed it down to three girls, so good luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. Oh, wait, I didn't catch your name. Brian, I'm the DJ here and the host of He Said Radio. Cool. I'm Carmen. It was a pleasure. <laughs> You're so weak. <laughs> what? Whatever. <laughs> we stirred the pot until it boiled over, didn't we, Lily? They hated us. Well, they hated me. They thought I was too old for you <laughs> and too white. But you love me anyway. Boy, oh boy, you could love. Remember the first day you took me to meet your parents? You were pregnant with Travis. And we have already eloped. Reckless endangerment to my well-being, possibly. <laughs> because your father's handshake somehow stopped the blood flow to my brain. And I always was, was afraid to eat before your mother because she gave me this poisonous stare. But to this day, Our wedding day was the best decision I ever made. Who needs bridesmaids, groomsmen? They steal the show anyway. And that day, I had no distractions. It was just me and you. My sweet Lily. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. And I'll remind you every day that that cancer was no burden to me. I would have fought another day if you let me.
She had this aura of compassion and this presence of peace. The only spirit that could truly soothe my soul. You sure loved her, didn't you? Maybe too much? Maybe so. You think you'll ever get remarried? Never. Never? I mean, not even dating? Cemetery visits can get lonely. Maybe dating, but not marriage. Would that be okay with you? We all deserve to be happy, Dad. I'm gonna have to bring the new woman to meet your mother if I did that again. Just not on the first date, right? <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. Hi, now before you say anything, I was told that you're a miracle worker. And the only person in my life right now that could help me with anything pertaining to a business plan. So, I kind of need your help. Because I need to be free from the shackles of this weak-ass bank account I currently possess. Now, how can you help me? The only way you can help me is by finishing my business plan for me. By tonight. Because if I don't finish it tonight, I don't get any money. So, you understand my dilemma, right? Sure, if you cook. Um, I have leftover cake pops. All right. Thank you. With so many black mothers losing their sons and even daughters, at the hands of all white counterparts to gun violence. Still, I don't want to make this about race. Having to coexist in a world with people of many different shades, religions, and sexual orientations is inevitable. We can't do anything about that. But to live in a world full of injustice because of those differences, See you torn, not knowing which way to turn. If you don't think of anyone else in the process of deciding, think of yourself. Think about if you were Marvin. Think about if you were his father. I spent most of my life as a kid in juvenile detention center. And a good portion of my adult life in prison. Time and time again, the system saying deserving of a decent salary because I did wrong. So what I do? More wrong. All in the name of survival. It's all a cycle. White man kill black man. Black man kill black man. Prison cells at maximum capacity. Why? Survival. And ain't a man in sight willing to break the cycle. But you can be that man. Your mama raised you to be that man with the time she had. So if you don't do it for no one else, man, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself.
When I was a child in Russia, my father could never make it back before the sundown. My mother would have to go to Pishni Bubi, Lusty Lips, to get him. He'd go there right after work and stay there until the bartender would make it his last call, usually to my mother. 11.45 on the dot every night. As a child, I never had the courage to ask him why. But when I became a married man with kids, I understood. He loved us because we were family. But he could find peace only in that place. Home felt like too much work. Sooner or later, he stopped going to Lost Lips, but he wasn't coming home either. <laughs> I guess like father, like son, huh? Well deserved. But you know, your mother was that peace for me. And I lost every bit of it when she I just couldn't let you and your sister see me like that. I know that you suffered a great loss. But so did we. And you left us here to deal with it on our own. And I'm sorry for that. But I know I can't get those years back. And I'm here. I will be here for years to come. I notice you come and sit here every night. Why? It's my place of peace. My place to think about my life. Then what do you think about your life? I think I'm becoming someone that I've never intended to be. The crazy thing about it is, is I'm in the perfect place right now to be exactly who I've wanted to be. I guess I'm just afraid of the price I have to pay first to get what I want. What does it profit a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Who picked out this fit for you? Ronnie? Is it obvious? <laughs> yeah. I'm going on a date tonight with a woman from the church. Um, congrats. Hey, listen. I never doubted that you loved mom. I only doubted that you loved us. I always have and always will love you and your sister. I have a question and I want your honest opinion. <clears throat> your sister thinks it's crazy. After the date, I want to take her to, to meet Lily. I want her to know where my heart truly is, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, cool. Uh, not, not tonight. Hmm. Okay. Next time. Yeah. But in the daytime. Okay. Sure. With so many black mothers losing their sons and even daughters.
Come on in. <sighs> you know, I was, I was just leaving. So. Run. Wait up. It's cool. Uh, whatever it is you got planned, no need to cancel. Uh, I got what I can. For. And, and what was that? Well, uh, Rick has been helping me with my business plan, so I'm all set for tomorrow's meeting. Mm -hmm. He's all yours. Is he? Get some rest, Veronica. We wouldn't want the meeting with the investors to go awry. And remember, be on time. I will be on time. Good morning, everyone. I'm Valerie Weiss here with Breaking News. Recent developments have come to light regarding the murder of Marvin Knox, who was shot and killed at a local Good morning, babe. here in Miami, Florida. Good morning. More after the commercial. It's a shame what happened to that poor Marvin. It is clear that Mitchell Kid is a complete racist. He deserves every degree of murder he can get. I couldn't agree with you more, but your brother wants to represent him. Can you blame him? Carl Mitchell comes from a very wealthy family, and I would not say my brother's fortune was built on serving justice. He serves the rich, keeps him out of jail. He's like Annalise Keating. Hmm? Helping people get away with murder. So you're comparing the way your brother operates his law firm to a fictional television network show? Has he murdered people too? Don't patronize me. Representing the Knox family would be nice, generous, and just, but they don't even have the money to pay a lawyer to work their case. Who's gonna do all that hard work for free? Martin Luther King did more for less, I'm sure. Ronnie. Jesse. Yeah. I'm trying to call you. I mean, I even DM'd you too, but no response. How did you find out where I lived? Hello? I think it'd be great for this because I'm funny, I'm blunt, a little ratchet. Uh, hey. Hey. You must be Carmen. Yes, uh, pleasure to meet you. My name is Larry. I'm the station manager here at True 102 FM, as well as the producer of the She Say Radio Show. Currently, we have a huge following on the He Say Radio Show, and it's been going strong for about a year now. And we decided to take a stab at bringing in a female host. Now, the pay is generous for someone who's starting out. 200 a night, five nights a week, five hours, three hours on air, two hour prep. Sound good? Perfect. I'd honestly do this for free. I mean, I'm just happy to be here. I mean, we could always renegotiate. Free is good to me. Whoa, no, I was just kidding. I need the money. I, I just mean I'm excited for this opportunity. Good. Now it says here you're an aspiring actress? Oh, uh, well, I was. Or I still am, I think. But this is better for me for right now. I mean, I just get to be myself. You make it sound easy. You know what? 
Let's test you out. Have a seat. I am here. Ronnie. Ronnie. Yes. The only reason why I stay this late was so that I can look you in the face and tell you, I told you, do not be late. But I am on time. It's 11.27. So... You're not a child, Ronnie. To be early is to be on time. Um... Did they leave already? <sighs> I mean, can you reschedule or something? Unfortunately, no. Did you tell them to leave? Well, I figured when I didn't see you at 11.15 that you were gonna be late. So, yeah. And you couldn't, I don't know, call to confirm? <laughs> you know, I can see why you and Rick make such great friends. You think so much alike. It's cute. Excuse me. No, don't be alarmed. My interviewing style could be a little unorthodox. So I'm gonna give you a series of topics and you're gonna respond with your sign on, followed by opinion on the subject. Uh, I actually don't have a sign on yet. Be creative. Just know that there is no right or wrong answer to the questions. Just be careful on complex subjects. Complex subjects? If you're ignorant to the subject, keep it simple. Oh, okay. Got it. Sex. I don't know what he say, but I definitely know what she say. Ladies, if you want to stop your ain't shit boyfriends or husbands from cheating, crack the whip on your dominatrix skills. More coming after the commercial. Trump. Didn't they tell you once you go black, never go back? But you did. Look what you did, America. You managed to allow this presidency to outlandishly trump the worst of all. Unintended. You forgot to sign on. Oh, shit. Right. I won't forget next time. Same sex relationship. I know what he say. But she say, if you got a poom poom and you like poom poom, well, live your life like it's golden, honey. It's a free country. For now. You like? I think you're definitely good on your feet. And you're funny. I do think we can make some adjustments. <laughs> like what? Well, for one, I think we need to work on your posture. We're gonna be recording your segments and putting them on social media, so we need you to look the part. So, does that mean I'm higher? I think it's safe to say maybe. But to be fair, I need to have a meeting with a few people. Awesome. I look forward to hearing from you. The right grooming? I think you'd be the perfect candidate. We'll be in touch, Carmen. <sighs> what do we have here? She ain't got nothing in this house. Hmm. What is this? And get your feet off my couch. This ain't no loony session. <clears throat> Mama. Why'd you give Jesse my address? 
My address to my house, mama. You know he showed up? The only thing me and you need to discuss right now is how showing up to my apartment unannounced is completely unacceptable. But I'm late for a meeting. Well, Ronnie, wait. I can't let you walk out of my life again. Ronnie, I love you. Jesse, just a week ago, you... I just dropped off your wedding cake. What happened? Seeing you, it made me realize what I was giving up on. I regret the day I left you. Left me? Jesse, I left you. Yeah, you're right. You were about to marry a woman that you claim gave you everything I couldn't. She's just not the one. I don't get it. She's not you. I can feel it. I gotta go, Jesse. Child, he harmless. Plus, he said it was an emergency. Yeah, okay, and it just so happens to be after his little runaway bride episode. I told you, I am not trying to get involved. Well, you got involved when you made that man that cake. I wish you would stop saying that. <laughs> Did you know that Travis helped me get on that Facebook? <laughs> That's mm -hmm. nice, Mama. And why haven't you accepted my friend request? Uh, I'll, I'll get to it. Do it now. You know, my meeting with the investors was a complete fail. <clears throat> so now I gotta find another way to get $15,000. Well, honey, I already told you that Miss Heather down there at the church still does that cooking fellowship. You talking about the lady who do the bake sales? Yeah. What if you win that $20,000 grant? You can start your own business. I mean, it's better than what you're doing now. <sighs> We're friends, you happy? Oh, now see, you're gonna have to delete some of these pictures. Mama, now no. that dress way uh -uh, too Mama, short. Now, lady. You wanted to be my friend on Facebook, so you just gonna have to accept me as oh, I Oh, and this post right here, you got to delete that. Listen, you telling the whole world that you single and lonely. How do I look? Well, where are you going? I'm going on a date. First one in 20 years. <laughs> Lord have mercy. My Lily would be so proud of you moving on. But this time, get you somebody that's of age. Mama. I will not be censored in my own house. Now, when your mama came home and told us she was married, we didn't know that she was even seeing somebody. Had the nerve to walk up in here with this man. Now, what business an 18-year-old got with a 42-year-old man? She was 19. And <laughs> did I mention that I told her don't be messing around with them white boys. So she goes and get her a white man. Then she had the nerve to say, he ain't white, he Russian. <laughs> <laughs> are you finished? Or are you done? I'm finished and I'm done. <laughs> uh, so who's the lucky lady? I met her at church. And uh, you'll meet her when the time is right. Are you wearing that shirt? What's wrong with the shirt? Um, do you have any other options? Like, you have absolutely no color in this closet. Like, all this black, Dad. Like, we need her to think you're, you're, you're hip and, and happy. Yeah. Hip and happy. I like it. I don't know what hip and happy looks like. Oh, because I just made it up. And it's clearly not in this closet, so... We need to go shopping! This was a lot of fun. Mm. We'll have to do it again sometime. Sure thing. Oh, but um, next time it's on your dime because men's clothes are expensive. I'll have something better planned for you. Well, I'll hold you to it.
<laughs> Sorry I didn't call. I just figured I'd stop by so we can get a quick session before you close. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you can work out. <clears throat> I'm done with sessions for the night. Is that any way to speak to a potential investor and a paying customer? Like I said, you could work out. I'm gonna take this time to myself now. Okay. Well, I'm guessing this is about your little girlfriend's dilemma. First of all, her name is Veronica. Second of She's all. She's not good for you, Rick. You know, I knew there was more to this than her showing up 15 minutes early for a meeting. Well, I just, had to take into consideration the little conflict of interest that we have. And what's that? <laughs> well, let's see. This company invests in your business and invests in hers as well. Meanwhile, you're fucking the both of us. What do you think this is? Huh? I make you and her both rich and you ride off into the sunset, off of my connections. Yeah, no. I went the extra mile for you. For you, Rick, because I thought that we had something special. You done? Yeah. Good. Just get the fuck out of my gym. What did you just say? Was I not clear? Did you not hear me? Get the fuck out my gym, please. <laughs> Your gym. Just go. You're gonna regret this. Trust me. <laughs> That's gonna cost you. Always on that fuck shit. Too much interrupt. Second degree murder. Look at this. His family is willing to say the whole fucking entire thing. Right now, Carl's looking at a second degree murder. operates his law firm to a fictional network television show? fictional television show? Has he murdered? <laughs> okay. I got it this time. 
Okay, we got it. So I'm gonna give you a series of topics and you're gonna respond with your... I'm gonna give you a series of topics. And you're gonna respond with your science. I'm gonna come back around the corner and start adjusting. So arms off the counter. Yeah. Turn towards her. Right now, we both. Okay. Yeah, the airport is right there. Yeah. Wait, where are we starting? What line? Whatever you want to do, go with it. You're gonna do all some improv stuff. All right? Yes. <laughs> it's good. It's good. All of it's good. Get on going off of your vibe. Okay. Let me when you record it. Right. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, I hate that line. Always mm. on that fuck, that fuck, nice taste. That fuck, that fuck. Look, I gotta get to work. Hey, Trail. Right. Right. <laughs> Trail. Junior, somebody come here. I only say this late so I can look you in the face and tell you, I told you, don't be late. But I am on time. But, but I'm not late. It's 11.27. 